I want to set the record straight. This is the one and only time you'll see me in a Boston Bruins jersey. Today is a very special day. The one and only Bobby Orr is now in NHL 24. As you can see, I'm rocking the vintage Bobby Orr jersey. I got sent a mysterious NHL 24 package, popped it open, and this was inside. Now, I have a bit of a problem today, and I think I have come up with solutions. So I want to make the 88 overall Bobby Orr and try him out in a game. The issue is I am free to play and threw basically every card in my collection into the fantasy hockey set to make Tara Vinen. So we're going to try to work some magic today. I have some unopened packs that I need to open up. We should get enough from that to then make Bobby Orr and try him out in the game. Then we'll find out if the 88 overall Bobby Orr is worth the hype. And if you guys should make him for yourself, let's get into this. This is what my team looks like currently. Honestly, as a free-to-play team, I'm super happy with this. I've been winning games. I've been doing pretty well in HUD champs. The squad is looking very good, but we really could use a new left-handed defenseman. Also, here's my fantasy hockey Teravine, and he is now at an 85. So he is flying. He's scoring goals this year. I invested everything into this card. He better be a 99 and he better hit it soon. So to make the Bobby Orr card, we need to put in one of each of these gallery cards into this set. Each of these sets here requires one gallery collectible, and each collectible costs about eight gold players. I'm pretty close to having enough, but not quite there. So we're gonna go pop some packs first, make our Bobby Orr, and then show them off in a game. This is literally like two weeks of rivals, squad battles, all that, grinding away just to make one card. So this better be worth it. Here are some of the packs we have. I'm just gonna fly through these until we have enough players sit back relax and hopefully we'll pull something nice pack number one the premium players pack now i have yet to really have a crazy pull all year long i think the best pull that i've had is the 85 overall eric carlson that we got recently but that is not enough right i want to get one of the big msps and 88 plus i still have yet to see Connor Bedard, welcome to the team. Hey, we'll take that. Next pack here, I think maybe our luck has shifted. I mean, to get a Connor Bedard. Hey! Austin Matthews! 85 overall Matthews. Boys, these packs are absolute trash. What is going on here? Like, I should be getting nothing. 85 overall Matthews, and we are only three cards in here. That's my best pull of the year by far. We get an 85 Matthews. And, dude, this is like... I think we only get two guaranteed 80 pluses from this entire pack. Holy boys. It may be a new day here. Okay, yeah, there's our other 80. But holy, 85 overall Matthews. Let's go. And it is tradable as well. That is huge. Also, worst comes to worst, we can toss an 85 and get like three or four of those gallery players from 185 overall. So a monumental pull, boys. I think we have done it already. This one here is just an 84 overall choice pack. I, I don't think we really need an 84 right now, but let's see if we can get the best one in the game. I don't know who that would be, but I think we'll know once we see it. It's not Saros. It's not Braden Point. Not terrible. And our last one, Caroline Harvey. We're going to take Braden Point 84. Hey, we'll take that all day. Getting the 85 Matthews, we should have enough now to make our team. And yes, the third one, garbage as well. Okay. All good. This one here is the last one we'll open for now. An elite pack, five guaranteed 80 plus overalls. We have the luck today. All the luck that we need. Bedard, Austin Matthews, nothing else to show for it. But can we get one last pull? 280 overalls to start. That's definitely not what we need. There's an 81 overall Nick Schmaltz, a Connor Brown, and a Jack Hughes. We are getting some big names today. 84 overall Hughesy will certainly take that. Matthews, Hughes, Bedard, three of the best players in the NHL right now. This was actually a W. We crunched the numbers. We got the job done. We now have all 10 of our gallery players ready to go. So here we have it. All these guys going into the set. We're getting Bobby Orr. There we go. Let's go. There it is. Bobby Orr coming in at an 85 overall. The card art looking clean. Bobby Orr looking fresh. I almost have the Bobby Orr kind of flow going right now. I'm not going to lie. Bobby, you're looking good. Now to get Bobby Orr up to an 88 overall, I'm going to need a lot of power up collectibles. Two, four, seven total to get him up to an 88. But he does have 94 speed. This card is unreal. Here he is officially in the lineup. He's playing on the first pair with Kale McCarr. Could you imagine this combination in real life? Kale McCarr and Bobby Orr. 
Now I'm going to go convert some of my Hut Champs collectibles to Power Up collectibles and then get this guy up to an 88. So here it is. I have traded in basically my entire team, all my Hut Champs collectibles, everything. But we are now at an 88 overall Bobby Orr. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, a nasty shot as well. Good speed, good deking. Sure, he's a little on the smaller side, but this card looks absolutely disgusting. Of course, we had to deck him out. I have all three of his abilities active as well. Wheels, giving him extra speed, elite edges, extra agility, and then the Heat Seeker for an even better shot. This is crazy. So will it all be worth it? I'm going to hop into one Hut Rivals game, the first game that I have ever played with Bobby Orr, and we're going to see what we can do. Just look at this guy. We got Bobby Orr, 88 overall, the best player on our team. He's got the vintage skates the vintage stick bobby or no bucket needed <laughs> let's see what we can do here we go it is our first game with the one and only bobby or i gotta be careful here right i don't want to like force too many plays through bobby i'm just gonna try to play a nice normal game you guys can be the judge we'll let you know uh how the card looks how the speed feels how the shot feels and then uh we'll see if it's worth making for you guys or if this is one that you should pass on we got bobby or right off the rip look at the bobby Dude, if I would have went in and scored my first shot of the game, I would uh, probably have just ended the video right then and there. I'm not going to lie. The speed on him just feels unreal. I'm used to using like the base cards where the speed isn't great and uh, the agility on him, I think, looks crazy. But again, we're trying to do too much. All right, let's just play a normal game and whatever happens, happens. Now, this is Burst Rivals, which I mean pretty much one goal two max usually wins these games so we do have to be careful like we let up one dumb opportunity on the other end this game's matthew M M boys what a set hellebuck what a save matthews just flipped over hellebuck's head and then the net comes off in the process i don't know what's going on here dude every single game of nhl we play there's some madness going on nice save though by hellebuck we'll take that we got a little two on one i'm gonna try to force this over early and then give it back ah nice d okay this guy actually seems pretty decent we are in div two almost up to div one at this point so i mean we're gonna we're gonna have some grindy games like obviously we're not gonna play anyone bad here in rivals but uh yeah we'll have some work to do i'm gonna fire that low nice shot the other thing with it being burst is like we're we're only gonna get one shift a period with bobby like two maybe we got our pressure up here let's just take this around the net i'm gonna try to walk this in find the back door nice save i don't know how he got a piece of that okay a couple good chances here early we have full pressure for the rest of the period let's just walk in yep perfect boom okay honestly i mean we were off to a good start that period bobby didn't get as much ice time as you would like but he's buzzing out there like the wheels you can definitely feel 94 speed he's flying around we just gotta gotta get him on the board here so zero zero after one let's see what we can do in period two. Oh, i also forgot to mention i have not got to play the game this is actually my first game since the patch came out you guys gotta let me know in the comments down below did the patch make the game any better is it worse is it the same i've been seeing like kind of mixed signals out of everybody so let me know what you guys think about the patch. Do you like what the gameplay is like? Do you hate it? I don't know, man. I'm still kind of undecided. We'll see. Ooh. If I could have made one last pass to Marner back door, that would have been disgusting. We were very close. Also, where has Bobby been? I haven't even touched... Bobby has not touched the puck yet this period. Nothing there. We'll let him shoot that. That's fine. This is just going to be one of those hockey games that ends... I, I told you, it's a 1-0 game kind of thing. All right, Bobby still has energy. I'm going to leave him out there, but put line two. Maybe we can have a little mismatch here off the rip. Ew, that was kind of nasty. I'm not going to lie. I went for a booming hit on him. We, like, bounced off of him, though, because he was in the middle of that animation. Kind of looked clean. All uh, right, nice. Okay, nice plays. We at least got it out of the zone. That's fine. Okay, yeah, Bobby Orr is going to play literally the entire period, and uh, that is not an exaggeration. It has been 20 minutes, and Bobby Orr has been on the ice for every second of it. So, you know, maybe not the smartest coaching decision there, Still at zero after the second. We are scoring here in the third. Lock that in. Here we go, boys. Period number three. Let's go. Bobby, it is time for you to put this team on your back. Let's make something happen. Bobby. Hey, Bobby, we, we might have made a we might have made an error. Okay, we made an error. We're trying to do too much with you. I know. That's on me. That's on me. Here we go, Bobby. Okay. Wheels with Bobby. Right up the middle. <gasps> Bobby. What a save, dude. How did Hold on? Hey, hold on. Get this puck back. Bobby Orr, we are scoring right now. Nice shot. Another good shot. We should have full pressure here. Okay, we got full pressure with Bobby Orr with the puck. We're going to walk in. 
Give me that puck back. Bobby Orr is absolutely buzzing right now. Bobby! Bobby, get the shot off. He's got it back, dude. This guy's a tank. Okay, another good low shot there. Goalie should be tired. Goalie is definitely tired. Absolutely zero energy left on him. Nice pokes. We're still in the zone. Okay, a couple good chances there. Not able to find the back of the net, but we might have another quick break here. A little between the legs. <gasps> Okay, I think that it, that would have been a goal interference. I was spamming up. I don't know what why he just, just stood there on his backhand for so long. But you know what? If he's going to pause it, maybe I might reverse pause time out this here on the next whistle. We'll see. Oh, Bobby laying the Bobby laying the boom. Okay. This guy should be slower, right? He just got bodied. He did. Bang! There we go, Bobby Orr. Let's go. Bobby makes the hit. Forces the cross crease and gets us on the board. First assist here of Bobby Orr's hut career. There you go. 88 overall Bobby Orr finding that cross crease feed. A little bit of a force. Not going to lie about it. I just feel like after we made that hit, we had to force a pass like that. We're up by one. The game is in our hands. Three minutes. All right, boys. This is what we wanted. Okay. We, we wanted Bobby Orr to be the reason that we win this game. Bobby Orr, number four. Ew. Dude, we just walked through his entire team. Look at this. I didn't even do a move. Like with the elite edges and the wheels, you just left stick. Boom, boom, boom. Cut through the entire team. Backhand, forehand, and we are up by two, all because of Bobby Orr. Okay, I mean, he got so aggressive there. It was bound to happen, right? Let's try to do it. You know what? Let's try to do it again. Little, okay, okay, he's not gonna let us do it again. He's gonna try to take off Bobby's head. That's fair enough, honestly. There you go, another booming hit there from Bobby Orr. Dude, he is crazy. Bobby, hold on. Okay, we have no energy left. I'm gonna try a little. Okay, okay, I deserve that. I deserve that. He did get a penalty too. 14 seconds. I'm gonna leave Bobby on the ice just because. We'll try to get him one last goal. Uh, I'm gonna tie this up. We'll get it to Bobby Orr. One last, one last goal here for Bobby. Why not? Let's go. Walk in. Yep, Bobby. Dude, he's, he's just trying to lay out Bobby. All right, we play for our goalie here. No goals against, please. Nice pokes. And that will do it for this one. Our first game with Bobby Orr. And he just put the team on the back and carried us to victory. I mean, that the cross crease was whatever. You know, we made a hit. We forced the cross crease. But when he actually cut through the entire team, backhand, forehand, that's something special. So uh, I think it's safe to say if you have the ability to make the Bobby Orr card, definitely go and do it. Obviously, his size, he's a little bit smaller, but he's still laying big hits. Like he does get bumped off the puck a little bit easier, but you can still lay big hits. This guy's got the speed. He's got a decent shot. Crazy game from Bobby Orr resulting in the 2-0 victory. So there you have it. There's your first look at the 88 overall Bobby Orr. I mean, this is the fastest card that I have ever used. Obviously, I'm free to play. My team is not that good, but uh, Bobby Bobby Orr, definitely a guy that you want to make and have on your team. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I had some fun with it. Again, you will never see me in a Boston Bruins jersey ever again. We just had to do that for Bobby. If you did enjoy the video, hit it with a like. Hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Bobby Orr card is crazy. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys next time. And peace.